Hello, and welcome again to a new chapter number 17 of Azure Support Academy. In this session, we are going to talk how to configure BNet for SQL Azure and how it works. My name is Jose Manuel Jurado. I am Support Scholarship Engineer of SQL Azure and Subject Master Expert in this technology. So, let's go. Okay, once we have create a new server, normally we have the configuration is this one. It's a load the firewall rules, I mean, a virtual network, it's a, its own. I'm going to, we have a own, one second. I need, okay, perfect. So I'm going to click on. This is the normal configuration that we have in SQL. So once we have this, if I try, this is my, uh, my virtual machine running in Azure in the same data center, uh, that my SQL as a server is working. I'm going to click here and try to connect to this database. I click database engine. I'm going to type password. And run. Okay, I'm able to connect to this database and I'm able to see the tables, etc. So if, for example, if I try to run this command, second connections, I see that the comparison of the, of, of this, of this connection. So what happened if I try to disconnect again? I'm going to um, my server, so my SQL. Okay, I'm going to click here, off. Oh. If I click here, save, that's mean allow access to Azure services that uh, uh, all services, all machines that we have in the same data center that our SQL Azure service is running, will be able to at least to try to connect. Okay, it's clear that we need the user and password or Azure Active Directory user, but uh, uh, any machine could try to at least to connect. If I try to connect right now, I have received this message that cannot be opened, yes, because it's the client is not allowed to access the server. So it's clear that this is the message, it's clear. So right now, I'm going to modify the rule that I'm going to add a new virtual network. I click here. I'm going to choose my subscription, my virtual network. And uh, uh, right now, the endpoint is enabled. Okay, I'm going to add a, my service and my SQL Azure in this virtual network. I'm going to click here. It's very important to have the endpoint. I'm going to show you later how to disable this. I click OK. And in a couple of uh, seconds, a minute, I'm going to uh, try again to connect to the server. Okay, successfully, if I try to connect to the server, I'm going to be able, I click in my data, my tables. This is the reason that one second, I'm going to exec connection again. And I'm able to see that the connection, the IP connection is this number. This number is the internal IP uh, they have in my VNet. But what happened if I try uh, to run a bin command? If I run to bin command to verify the IP of my server, oh, I received that uh, the IP is not uh, the internal IP. So it's the proxy server. So that's mean that uh, when I add this SQL server in this virtual, in virtual network is just only means that it, it's much is machine they have in this virtual machine. I could add other machines in this virtual network. It could be able to connect to the Azure SQL server. Okay, but that not mean 
that in this SQL Azure will be part of my VNet. It's just only that all machine that I have in my VNet uh, will be able to connect to this um, to this Azure SQL Server. Okay, so let me. I'm going to show you an example later. Okay, so right now I, I have the the success. I'm going to, uh, for example, I'm going to take an. Uh, I'm going uh, to to review what is the what is the communication. If I try to take an, uh, an network trace using this uh, this command, right now I able to take the the, the, the the network monitor. Sorry, sorry, this network trace. I try to um, I'm going to disconnect to connect again to the server. And you want to connect. I'm going to show you how the, the connection is going. I'm going to stop. Okay. And a couple of minutes, I'm going to have this file uh, in my uh, temp folder and with, uh, uh, with my name, with my the name of this built on machine. So once we have these files, as you could see, uh, this is a network monitor, but you could use other Wireshark or other uh, tool. As you could see, uh, this is the communication that is going through. It's, uh, this is the IP of the virtual machine, but uh, the connection is going against the, the proxy. It's not uh, an, a specific IP of, the, uh, of this VNet. So for the reason, just only VNet means that the protection will be just only the machine that is running this VNet. Okay. So let's try to stop here. Okay, we have a disconnection, but let me show you how uh, to disable. We could do it. We could delete the firewall rule or uh, we could also, in the virtual machines, we could disable the endpoint. Okay, I'm going to choose uh, the virtual machine. I'm going to click here in the virtual network. I'm going to click here in the service endpoint. And as you could see, I have the endpoint of uh, for SQL Azure. So I'm going to delete, for example, I click here. A couple of minutes and we are going to have update this one. I'm going to go back to the uh, SQL server. I choose the server and as uh, in the firewall virtual networks, as you can see, we have not enabled. If I try to connect again in this server, Even when the VNet is installed, it's created. But if I don't have the endpoint, I'm going to receive this message because there is not possible to add a firewall. So this is another. Uh, I'm not able to connect to this uh, to this server. I could uh, try to add the firewall, but anyway, uh, you are going to receive this this message. This is very important because we have seen several cases that. Uh, some customer that thinks that the virtual machine, this Azure SQL, will be part of the VNet. No, it's all the VNets that we have in, the, in all the machine that we have in this VNet uh, will be able to connect to this uh, SQL server. Okay, so go back to the presentation. So. This is very important to know, okay? It's very important that a VNet means that how to configure, we review how to configure it, how it works. But if you have any other questions, please send me an email to jmcurado at microsoft.com. Thank you so much for your, for your attention and I will see you in another session. Bye.